everybody. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining us on today's huh, just regular old car, right? Just a regular old car. Look at this thing for a second. When I say to you that the British do things differently than even maybe the Italians do, right? Everybody says Italians have style, but I think when it comes to cars, uh, this is a 2005. We're shooting this video in 2021, right? 16 years later, this car is still beautiful. Just turned 20,000 miles, right? And the paint color, the two and three tone interior when we get inside there, the 12 cylinder underneath of here and how compact it is and how much horsepower it makes is just amazing. Anyway, I get excited about these cars because when you see them and you see the detail and level that go into them, they're the best value on the planet as far as a luxury sports touring car goes. And that's what we're gonna look at right now. All right, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the paint of this car. Outside, this car is spectacular under these lights. Uh, the lights are harsh on cars and, and having good quality paint is important. Why I do the paint test all the time. So when you look at the letters on here, not just see the letters in here, but look at the letters and make sure you can see how crisp they are. The crisper the letter, right? The more natural it looks, the better the paint quality is. I'd like you to check this out right now because that right there is some serious, seriously good looking paint in British Racing Green. All right, so I want to take a peek under the hood here. I want to point out something that's very interesting about this car and that's how short the hood is. You say uh, this has a 12 cylinder. Typically with a 12 cylinder, you need two six cylinders this long. However, this engine is called a W12. The cylinders are staggered, okay? So you have like what looks like blocks of four cylinders, right? But staggered together. And when I open the hood, you'll see that. The one thing I do like also too is most people have no idea how to open the hood. And that is hidden right here. So when you pull the handle inside, pull this up just a little bit, this B will pop up and that's what you get there, all right? Again, back to this, six liters, 552 horsepower, and all-wheel drive. Most people have no idea that the Bentley Continental is all-wheel drive, and so the, the zero to 60 time is super low, even though it's a very heavy car, because when you drive this car, it's super solid. But I love this. This is the engine, that's it. This is a 12-cylinder engine, which is no longer, no longer than most four-cylinder engines, just the way it's built and staggered, 552 horsepower, all-wheel drive, a great sound of things rolls down the road. And look at this. They do a nice job making sure that you can work on things, right? You can see some stuff in here. You can check some fluids, do what you need to do. If you do like your own regular maintenance, if not, you just want to show it off at a car show. It looks really, really good. Work. All right. So the styling back here, this is 2005. They were already doing LED taillights before anybody was really talking about LED taillights in cars. This is what I wanted you to see. In back here, factory rubber mats, factory battery tender, the tool kit and everything is still in place. This is a leather flap that holds in uh, this in case you get a flat tire or something like that. This car is in such good condition. It's so original. But I also wanted you to see how big the trunk is. If you get a chance in the trunk pictures to look, it is enormous how much luggage and things that you can take uh, on a trip on this car. It's definitely what we call a, a GT, a grand touring car, in the sense that you could go on a really long trip, uh, maybe even for months. Who knows? Maybe once you got this car, you'd want to go on a trip for a few months. All right. All right, so come join me in here. I love cars with this in it. Are you ready? Because these are the little things when you look at a lot of cars, it says some cars are nicer than others. This has two sets of floor mats, <laughs> two sets on top of the carpet, right? Here, this is so, the wood and everything is so beautiful. I just want to show this off just a little bit. Inside here is a front and rear radar detector. It's built into this compartment, right? Uh, that comes with the car. I won't take it out. Then these little guys fold down. But everything, just listen to this, quick. Everything in this car is just like solid, 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 like these. These are metal, not plastic, right? This screen still looks great. 220 mile an hour speedometer, 8,000 RPM tax. Look at this interior, man. You got biscuit, you got green leather, you got green carpets, and you got green piping on the sides of. Uh, the console here, the burl wood, and I don't know, man, I get excited about this stuff because you don't get to get in these cars very often. This is the deal of the century. If you can afford uh, a car like this, this is the car to get because it is really, I mean, even the headliner is leather, the dash is leather, the steering wheel is green that matches this, this, and this. Like, this is so well put together, so British and so royal looking. Mm. All right, so let's close up the video on this almost 200 mile an hour machine, right? The styling things that we talked about, some we glazed over. For instance, like the chrome factory wheels look great. However, when I buy a car, I look at the tires first. You say, Tom, what do you care about tires? 
But I care about tires like this. If I see a good set of tires on the car, like expensive tires, I know they took care of the rest of the car. If I see a cheap set of tires on the car, I know they were just trying to flip the car and get rid of it. This has a beautiful set of Pirelli P0s on it, super expensive. I also want to point out the styling, there's no B pillar in this car. So this is all open on the side. So when you look at the pictures of this car, again, one of those things I say, people say that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why. Anyway, super low miles, incredibly loaded with equipment, great color combination, and a beautiful, beautiful car, right? Call us 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about this Bentley Continental GT. And uh, if you would, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share this video with some of your friends if you would like it down there right at the bottom of the video. That helps us out as well. All right, thanks so much. See you next time.